Walking down an empty hallway can sometimes send shivers all over your body, especially when the hallway looks like this. Spurg Burglar from Washington in the US uploaded this spooky video in 2016. He says that his flat is upstairs and he makes his way through this hallway in the middle of the night six days a week. The hallway in and of itself is spooky. The sound on top of it is nothing short of ominous. The noise certainly is thumping and rhythmic like music, but it's unclear what it is or where it's coming from. It gets louder as the uploader approaches the end of the hallway and the beginning of a new one. A new sound enters into the mix, like a heart pounding. While the thumping declines, the heart pounding remains. Then you hear some sort of haunting music enter in faintly before it escalates the closer he gets to the elevator. The video of the hallway also distorts a bit. Your heart races as you anticipate a jump scare from something unknown, but when he pushes the elevator button, the audio disappears. What could this possibly be? I don't know if I want to know. A diving instructor named McFear1991 notices a giant underwater sea creature slither up to some students under his watch. Their backs are turned and there's no way to scream or otherwise let them know, so the brave diver does what he has to do. He grabs the snake to make it change course. It takes one look back and seeks shelter under a rock, what he calls an awesome sea snake encounter. To me, it would be nothing short of downright terrifying. I'm especially interested to know if this is an olive sea snake like he says. If so, Google says they are known to approach divers with curiosity and that they rarely do anything to them, but when they do, it does not go well. Not what you'd want to surprise you from behind with no gloves. Oh yeah, and one more scary thing. He calls this thing a juvenile in the description. If that's not considered full grown, then I can't imagine how big these snakes must get. When a poltergeist displays his candor over a period of several days, you gotta see it for what it is, a permanent unwanted house guest. Published to YouTube in October of 2019, this video shows a series of poltergeist activities occurring in this couple's kitchen. On day 4, the salt and pepper shaker sitting on the kitchen countertop start to move slightly, then the salt falls over altogether. On day 8, the couple is in the kitchen. The woman is cooking something and sets the hand blender on the counter. It's turned off. She goes to the fridge to retrieve an egg and this happens. She drops the egg in fright, while the man calmly turns off the blender. On day 24, the man enters his kitchen to get a glass of water. His back turned to the stove, one of the burners suddenly turns on of its own accord. A pan on the stove slowly slides over to the lit burner, again all on its own. The man just stands there drinking his water, watching this happen. He takes two eggs from the fridge and sets them on the counter, inviting the poltergeist to cook. Maybe this is the best way to go about living with a poltergeist. Just accept that you have a third, somewhat mischievous roommate. This man is panicking, and he has reason to. Published by Hayalet Video Lari in November of 2013, the creepy footage he captured will have you on edge. Though there is no context to this clip, the man is in a room alone, and he's very much afraid. Guys, this is the area where I've seen a spirit roaming freely. What of? We're not sure yet until. Hey. Are you there? Yeah. Are you there inside? Oh my god! Oh my god! After freaking out some more, 
The man wheels around the frosted window panel, and there's no one behind it. To whom does this hand belong? I'd wager the invisible man. These YouTubers are about to come face to face with a situation none of us would want to deal while out on the water. Hey! The boat would have practically cleaved him in half had he not paddled away at the last second. And as the other boat passes, you can see one person is facing the wrong way and the other is absentmindedly holding a fishing rod. Nobody is guiding the engine like they should have been. Everything is okay in the end, but like the YouTuber says, he wouldn't operate a car without looking where you're going, so you shouldn't drive a boat like that either. Let this be a lesson to look where you're going on the water. And if you're in a small paddle boat like he was, always be sure to look up when you hear an approaching engine. Jonathan FOD and his friends go exploring an abandoned meat processing facility building that everyone in town says is haunted, but the air quotes around ghost seems to mean he doesn't quite believe it. So supposedly, there's a ghost that runs around here. Soon he will. Oh shit. Hey! Who's here? As Jonathan, FOD, and his two friends are ghost hunting in some kind of tool shed, they get what they think could be some paranormal evidence caught on tape. What the? Bro, you heard that, bro? What the fuck is that? Bro. Is anybody there? Oh. Oh. All three of them are on camera when these noises happen. You can see they are just standing there with their hands down so it can't be them. Maybe Jonathan had a fourth person making all of that noise, but I don't see how they could have faked that ghost EVP at 8 minutes and 50 seconds. It really does sound like the muffled voice of a small child. Residents in Tallahassee, Florida feared for their lives when this strange and haunting sound echoed throughout their area for over 20 minutes. It's not back that way, it's up in this corner. Don't go out there. There's little doubt that this video is real, as you can hear the fear in the family's voices. I thought it was a tornado, but the person in the video doesn't. They called 911 and learned that police were apparently flooded with concerned complaints about the noise. The person who recorded this footage says that the local news was told to report this as an airplane. This doesn't really sound like an airplane to me. There's one other strange occurrence, a sudden flash of lightning that instantly makes the noise disappear. I've never been in a tornado before, so I can't say if this video looks normal or not. I'm especially looking for opinions from people who have been in one. Do you agree with the uploader that this could have been something more than a tornado, like a government weather experiment? Residents in Tallahassee, Florida feared for their lives when this strange and haunting sound echoed throughout their area for over 20 minutes. It's not back that way, it's up in this corner. There. There's little doubt that this video is real, as you can hear the fear in the family's voices. I thought it was a tornado, but the person in the video doesn't. They called 911 and learned that police were apparently flooded with concerned complaints about the noise. The person who recorded this footage says that the local news was told to report this as an airplane. 
This doesn't really sound like an airplane to me. There's one other strange occurrence. A sudden flash of lightning that instantly makes the noise disappear. I've never been in a tornado before, so I can't say if this video looks normal or not. I'm especially looking for opinions from people who have been in one. Do you agree with the uploader that this could have been something more than a tornado? Like a government weather experiment? Do you need a friend? This ghost girl needs one too. Published in September of 2021, this scary video shows a swing mysteriously swing in the middle of the night on an empty playground. There's no one in the swing. The cameraman walks toward it to get a closer look. The swing keeps swaying and the cameraman grabs onto the metal ropes to stop it. In doing so, the camera pulls upward. The swing is now still. Panning up and down again, the swing is still empty. After looking up once more, the next time the camera pans down to the swing, this is what it captures. A young girl is sitting in the swing. The woman screams in fear and drops the camera, backing away. Say what you want, but I think this move is understandable. I doubt this ghost just wanted to play. Maybe you aren't paranoid, but you might be followed. Published by Jasco in June of 2021, this is part 8 in a series of Randonautica experiences over several days. Jasco and his crew are using the app down in Florida State. During their Randonautica tour, they find an old sofa in the forest. But, uh, Wendy's? What we're here for is this. Yeah. After some coaxing, Jasco lifts a mysterious item that's tucked into its cushions. Looks like a video game or something. What the hell? Is that an iPod? Yeah, what's one of the old iPhones? <gasps> no, Why is it like a saran wrap? Oh, uh. Wait. That item turns out to be an old iPhone saran wrap to the letters C and F. Feel a little bit safer. It is an iPhone. Look at that. iPhone. Bro, I always wanted they had like a coral one. That's so weird. Okay. What? Oh, we just found a phone in the middle of nowhere. I know, that's super old. They try to turn the iPhone on, but its battery is empty. Later on the mission, Jasco says Chris has been hearing something all day, and now he hears it too. Like, where else could it be? I don't know. Dude, I don't know. Yo, like, what would literally, it be? hold on, hold on. Can we talk about something quick? You've been hearing things like all day long. Like, you're like, bro, what is that? Like, I hear like some type of beeping. A beeping sound. Jen finds its source. Chris! What? It's a tile, tile. tracker, bro. That's one of those little. A tile tracking device. She says she found it in between the middle console. They run it over, but it's still functioning. Hold on, I'm gonna... All this time they were being tracked. Someone was in their rental car the day before and planted it. But who? My guess is someone with ill intentions. There are rumors of a small cult living on a forgotten side road somewhere by the Baltimore Turnpike just off Route 1. A YouTuber named Dragon Lafferty claims to know its exact location and has uploaded proof. It isn't long before him and his friends pass another vehicle, which turns around and starts tailgating them at high speeds. Coming right up on us too. Ouch. Ouch. Yep. <laughs> Yay! We're being chased! <laughs> the car continues to come at them down the winding road way too fast, alternating between high beams and total darkness all the while. Dragon Lafferty and his friends nervously play off the chase like it's no big deal, but I can tell that they are nervous. The cult member eventually disengages upon reaching the main road. Everyone is lucky to have made it out alive, but then they have a very bad idea. I don't, I don't know what would happen if we stopped. People said they'd do it, but they never said like what happened. Their last update was more than eight years ago, so maybe they followed through with their plan and were never heard from again. Could that flicker of light you see fast past be someone's soul? 
published to YouTube by Tomato Superman to the ghost subreddit. This security footage from the Golden Cross Weather Spoon in Broomsgrove in the UK shows just what happens in old haunted places after dark. The security footage reveals a strange, iridescent pink light flash around the corner and down the hallway before vanishing. Tomato Superman says that he's a skeptic but admits he found this odd. He writes that the place has been closed for three weeks and that the alarms had gone off, which is why staff came in to check it out. This is what happens in the recording that seems to set off the alarms. He said the security system also started to break down immediately after. Many in the comments aren't sure what to think either, although some lean hard into the spirit world. And could this be something similar? A spirit making its presence known in this place? It certainly doesn't look like your everyday dust orb. If you've ever wondered whether or not exorcisms are real, here is your answer. Published to YouTube in April of 2020, the supposedly possessed woman in the video is making hissing and rasping noises as her exorcist lays a hand on her. Another young man holds her wrists. She opens her mouth like a snake, ready to strike, while she continues to hiss and rasp at them. In a second clip, her expression appears almost normal for a moment, but a second later, her eyes roll into the back of her head and she hisses strangely, arching her back until her body is up from the couch. Before slumping over, like the demon has left her. You may be skeptical about possessions, but this woman does not look like she is acting. We can only hope the demon did leave and is gone for good. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Havoc Nova, this redditor wrote, Walked into my office to start my work day and found this, and I can see exactly what he's talking about. Something is up with that cool Scarface poster. It's like an invisible hand is rocking the poster back and forth. Even when the redditor tries to steady the poster, it continues to move. While some people like myself are first jumping to this office being haunted, not everyone is convinced. Laundry Ghosty wrote in the comments, You need insulation in your walls. There's a small hole allowing a breezeway from the exterior wall to form. This phenomenon happened in our current house. It turned out it's because the insulation that was blown into the walls 30 years ago needed repairs and replacing. So what do you think? Is this office actually haunted? Or are these walls just in need of some more insulation? Who's doing this? Bro is all a student writes after staying on the bus to capture this paranormal activity. Listen to how hard this window snaps shut and tell me how this is even possible with no one around. Afterwards, he claims to see two faces in the window, something which apparently happens often, and I actually see what he means. These are its eyes and here are its nose. The rest of its face is hidden from view because it's peeking in. Same with the window beside it. A team of cryptid hunters make a wild discovery deep in the woods of North Carolina. In the Uari National Forest is where they find a mysterious imprint that extends 13 inches long. They think this is not a footprint but a handprint with oversized knuckles at one end and a wide base of the palm at the other. Hey guys, I'll show you what we just found. We got us a 13 inch tracker just a little over. We sure did. We got toe prints. We got the break in the middle. Right here. Yes, sir. I kind of see what they mean, but I'm not sure if this is from a cryptid or not. It kind of looks like where a rock could have been or something. I'm also wondering why there aren't any prints to accompany this alleged handprint, but at the same time, I don't have a solid explanation for what caused this and was wondering what you think about this extra creepy sighting in the woods. Well guys, so far we've found what looks like to be either handprint or knuckle prints again. 
and we just come across this track right here. So that's awesome. That is awesome. This video could be someone talking gibberish in their sleep, or it could be a possession, as uploader Jron2 seems to think. Listen to this part and tell me if you think she could be speaking an ancient language. Things are not conscious. Oh yeah? What does that mean? One person in the comments section for this video thinks she might be saying something like, on the other side of the gods in old Latin, whatever that means. If a second person could verify that this was what she said, then maybe we would know if she was possessed or just mumbling. Something is manifesting in this abandoned hospital. YouTuber Lalo Escalante captured this creepy entity on camera during a paranormal investigation. The spirit there does not want to let them in. Asalgo, please. But it is there. See it lurking at the end of this hallway? Hola. When they enter the room, they find nothing, but the spirit continues to play. And then they see it again. But it always somehow evades them. The spirit again disappears. Hey, Only to make one last spooky cameo. <laughs> what does this spirit want? To me, it's difficult to tell if this is even a spirit at all. It looks solid and moves like a human. Then again, it disappears in a way that's unbelievable. It could go either way for me. What do you think is going on here? This creepy encounter was posted to Reddit by Ghosty Faze. A ring doorbell camera captured a young woman's stalker. The woman says she was followed home from Walmart and her stalker showed up on her doorstep. At first, the man appears to be looking for his own keys, but then he fails to find any and peers around the corner of the house. Many are wondering if the creep left something for his victim. Although we can agree that this is beyond creepy and edging into full-on horror, I do think this footage reminds us not to trust anyone. You never know when you could cross paths with someone like this. A Malaysian man is determined to rid his home of a spirit that has been haunting his family. After eight minutes of meditation and recital, a section of the wall begins to move like someone's pressing on it. If it was the wind, then this object moves when it's all the way over over here. Shortly afterwards, this strange sighting is caught on camera. It looks like a piece of dust or hair to some. Others see a special island spirit called a pokong that's twisted tightly in white robes. This part could be CGI, but that doesn't explain the object spinning on the floor by itself, away from him and away from any potential breeze. Abnormal Alabama is all about discussing the weirdest and scariest things imaginable, and this is probably one of their most frightening videos. These creepy dolls are said to be possessed by something paranormal according to 
to their owner, Kevin Kane, the man in the white shirt, and they aren't afraid to show it. When the host is busy talking about his own bizarre experiences with the haunted dolls, the creepy dolls provide the best paranormal evidence right in front of the camera. They had all kinds of dolls that were haunted, were supposedly haunted. Um, they had um, death masks. They actually had a um, the cap they would put. Not only are the creepy dolls caught on tape moving, which is scary enough, but if you look closely, you'll see one doll moves its eyes first. Its eyelids briefly twitch before the doll moves by itself. I also wanted to point out as a counterpoint that the dolls could be falling over because of how they were positioned. At 20 seconds, Kevin leans back and the other guest moves his laptop. So maybe they bumped the table and accidentally made it look like the dolls were haunted and moving on their own. Or maybe not. A YouTuber named Cup of Mocha is in the middle of making a video when she realizes she is no longer by herself at home. What the f This door is not supposed to be open. The video goes from light and playful to an emergency situation after she sees the busted basement door. I personally would have called the police at this point, but Cup of Mocha decides to stay. Watch this part and tell me if you think she should have ran upstairs or kept recording. I'm just gonna film this just in case like the police find it or something. But that's f what the is going on. She goes from room to room half expecting to get jumped by some crazed intruder at any moment. She eventually tiptoes into a large laundry room with many hiding spots. It looks all clear until this happens next. There's literally no one here. Oh my According to Cup of Mocha. Someone bumps her from behind and she drops her camera as they run away. I wasn't sure if this was real or not, but over one year later, she still appears to be having problems with this obsessed fan. Oh my god, Monique, 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 we need to go. Come here. What? She sounds really scared here, but I would like to know if you think she is truly in danger or just making a fictional series. Imagine you were walking past an abandoned factory when you saw this. Edge Ninja published this terrifying video in March of 2017. Although it was recorded all the way back in 2013, Edge Ninja explains, The factory, as it was dubbed, had been an eerie fixture in our neighborhood since before my family even moved in. In 30 years, I never saw a single person or vehicle go in or out. The YouTuber walks around the building to confirm that the lights are flashing in multiple wings. Even creepier as Edge Ninja zooms in on a light in a stairwell near the end of the video. YouTuber Oreo the Wolf Fox points out a ghoulish image in the left window, what appears to be a face. Cue the shivers. This building is no longer abandoned. It was renovated and is now used as a factory for a watch company. One wonders if the new factory workers have crossed paths with this creepy figure in the window. This video will definitely make you want to double check all of your wiring in your home. Eric McGregor takes one look at this discolored brown outlet and identifies a major problem. It's catching on fire. <laughs> Amber sparks shoot out of the middle of a frayed wire that is still hot and fully charged. It looks like the wall is going to catch on fire at any moment, especially here 23 seconds into the video. Eric calmly unscrews the outlet and plucks it free from the wall, which in turn trips the breaker and turns off all the power. I don't know if this is the safest solution, so you definitely shouldn't consider this video to be a tutorial of any kind, but his strategy does seem to work in this specific instance. Sometimes, these kind of faulty wires can go undetected for months or even years. All it takes in the meantime is one random spark, especially late at night, to change everything forever. A YouTuber named Dachi YT is standing at the edge of an underground tunnel when something completely unexpected comes up running to him. The real question is whether this is a friend playing a joke or if this is a creature that was once human. 
The noise it makes sounds like someone struggling to make a sentence, so maybe this person has lost their minds or is even under the effects of a possession. The small steps it takes are creepy, and it's hard to tell if he's doing them involuntarily or on purpose. Lastly, its eyes glow in the dark despite a lack of light. I want to believe it's fake, but I think the glowing red eyes indicate otherwise. You often capture more than you bargain for on social media streams. Posted in July of 2019, this video shows a man wandering around an apparently abandoned apartment in the darkness. He seems to be praying. As he shoots video of some window type compartment up in the right hand corner of one of the rooms. <laughs> You can see some stranger peeking through. The man continues to pray and then suddenly screams in fear as he turns to capture something moving more aggressively in a huge box to his right as he races to get out of there. <laughs> The door slams behind him. Even outside, he is not safe. He continues to pray while filming the exterior of the home. One of the window shutters up above opens and closes several times. Seems like this home needs more than prayer. It needs an exorcism. These underground tunnels in Manchester, England were once used to escape air raids in the 1940s. Countless people huddled for their lives down here in mass, and their collective fear is thought to have left a haunting impression ever since. Now a YouTube channel called Dark Arts TV investigates these tunnels to see what he can discover with his own eyes. It isn't long before his blue light shines upon a rail thin figure standing at a bizarre angle. They are a good distance away, but it looks like they might be wearing baggy trousers and a vest with oversized sleeves, reminiscent of the 40s era. If this is not a ghost to you, then what do you think this is? As he turns the corner, his camera picks up what appears to be a pair of human legs hanging out a small hole in the wall. <laughs> What's most terrifying is how Dark Arts TV doesn't seem to notice the legs at the time, as if they weren't visible in real life. And to further back this theory, when you pause at 24 minutes and 28 seconds, the beam of his flashlight seems to move through them. Finally, as they prepare to leave, they encounter this shadowy face directly behind them. It doesn't look like a person per se, but rather the fading memory of someone who was present, now doomed to repeat a terrifying moment forever. Eyebrows, a hairline, the chin, you can even see at the bottom here, if you can just catch the end of my thumb, where I'm covering now, there you can see the line of his neck as his head is bent round the corner. Most people think of houses, hospitals, or jails when they think about ghost sightings, but some of the most unsuspecting of places can turn out to be the most haunted. This footage was taken in a popular food joint during broad daylight. A shadowy ghost suddenly materializes in a subway restaurant. It starts out in the shape of a human and almost appears to be getting a table. When it gets back to its seat, the black shadow suddenly changes into a floating black blob of an orb. At this point, an employee or maybe a customer appears to see the ghost in the doorway. Whoever they are, they look stunned for a second and then quickly back away. The shadow orb pays no attention to the human as it floats up to the window and lingers there. It's almost as if it's taking a look at the outside world. The ghost starts to rise even higher and shrinks until it fully disappears back to wherever it came from. This footage was supposedly taken by a 911 caller and later edited to include his actual 911 call. The caller starts out by saying he's hearing some strange noises in his basement. And this ghostly basement sighting is what supposedly caused him to make the call. Look closely, and you will see that this does appear to be a shadowy figure from another time period. I personally see someone from the Victorian age, perhaps a woman with a large dress and oversized hat. He runs upstairs and makes the call after seeing her. 
Then again, if this video was real, then I don't know how he would have gotten a copy of his own 911 call. I could be wrong, but I think those are private records and generally unobtainable. There are also sound effects that are obviously put over the video once he sees the ghost, so maybe this is just a prank after all. It could be computer effects or even a mannequin. Powerful Pancake is the name of a YouTuber who decides to ring his neighbor's doorbell and then run away. He hides around the side of the house just in time, but his friend behind the trash can is not so lucky. Powerful Pancake doubles back to grab his camera and the chase is on. As you can see here, the neighbor comes charging down the driveway with a bat over his head, ready for who knows what. They barely make it to their car in time and speed off. I think this video is probably real because they seem to actually be full of adrenaline and that is not easy to fake, but I'd like to get your opinion. Number 10. Two YouTubers see a suspicious red balloon tied around the grate of an old sewer tunnel and start to explore. It isn't long before their flashlight shines upon someone standing rigidly before them. No freaking- No! 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 The sewer lurker chases them down the entire length of the tunnel at full speed, and they barely make it out alive. Listen to this part and tell me if you think the fear in their voices sounds real, because it does to me. Ah! Oh, Frico! Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! Get out. Ah! I hit my head! Who or what that was remains a mystery. There's been no update made since this video was uploaded. When you're an urban explorer planning to explore an abandoned building, be prepared to find it occupied. All Around Lifestyle published this video in December of 2015. Mike wrote, Me and a mate went exploring in a grain elevator, which is located in Poland in a city called Warclaw. The footage was captured on a GoPro Silver 3 edition. After exploring the cellar and several other floors, they explore the grounds. There are several other small buildings in the area, and as they approach one of them, they hear voices. This building is as dilapidated as the rest of them. Rubble on the ground. But in the far room, the guys distinctly hear several voices. Mike enters the small building, and when the people in question appear in the far doorway, he asks in Polish if he can record there. One man says yes, but another says no and tells him to leave now. Mike explains afterwards that he believes the people in the abandoned buildings were living there. Don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to run into anyone in this remote place. This video was taken on a creature expedition deep in the woods of Alabama. Is this an unknown creature caught on tape? They think they see a figure hiding between two trees, and when they zoom in for a closer look, they hear a deep noise. Well, some people think this is a cryptid noise. I'm pretty sure it's just the sound of the zoom lens going in and out of focus. Do you think this is a creature sighting they've caught on camera? I think they were just creeped out in some admittedly scary woods. When Gulf of Mexico explorers venture deep below the sea, they may not have been expecting to get creeped out from what they found down there. The EV Nautilus was able to capture footage of a ghost shark, also called a chimera, near Granada in the Caribbean. Ghost sharks are rarely seen, as they're usually too deep, anywhere from 8,500 feet to around 650 feet. For marine communities to capture on film, and this particular ghost shark was even rarer, as it had an eerie smile and was riddled with parasites. To capture this amount of creepiness on video, underwater is quite a feat. A team member said, He looks like he's smiling. It's like a joker smile. Don't know about you, 
but I'd cringe to be on the receiving end of this smile. You may remember this story from one of my previous videos, where Steve Ronan and his group of friends found a lost girl in a deep underground cave. One of the people with him was fellow YouTuber exploring with Josh, and we can analyze his footage of the event for more clarity on what happened. The group stumbled upon this scared girl while exploring the cave, and they reunite her with her parents. What remains unclear is how this girl managed to wander so deep into the cave with no flashlight or supplies. We were so curious to know what was <laughs> through this tunnel. This is crazy, man. It's okay. It's all right. This is the way back. Numerous news agencies have now covered the story, with none being able to offer an explanation. Nevertheless, she was clearly lost, and if it wasn't for these YouTubers saving the day, she may have never made it out of that cave. A YouTuber named Kyle Harrison is playing with his toddler in the living room when suddenly a toy starts to make strange sounds, almost as if it's saying something backwards. You can have nightmares from this. <laughs> While some people can hear backwards chanting, others hear a different message. When you play this video at half speed, you can almost hear a voice say something like, It's near, or it's here. It's Let me know if you heard what I am talking about, or if you think that this is an ordinary coincidence. Also, I have to add that one person in the comments section says that they own this toy, and they have never heard it do this. Even when the batteries run low, maybe somebody else can identify this toy and back up this claim. Throngs of people gather in the mountain province of Guizhou, China, to witness strange trumpet sounds in the sky. As you listen, tell me what this is and why it would happen way out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> the group hears four strange noises in a row, and yet none of them actually sees anything scary in the sky. But that's not all. The phenomenon known as sky trumpets is only the first phase. Soon the mountain range is filled with the sounds of a giant unknown creature, an enormous wildcat that's heard all over but seen by no one. <laughs> and the final phase sounds like two giant creatures clashing. There's a clear victor, and one of them sounds like they are falling from the sky. Modern science cannot explain what's behind these noises, which makes you wonder if there's any semblance of truth behind the various ancient mythologies that speak of similar events. Two friends stand on the edge of the woods, looking for a figure that's said to haunt their suburban neighborhood in Missouri. What they encounter while exploring this forest opening has left people asking if it's real or fake for years since. A shadow person kneels in the woods, regarding them without saying a single word. They see the shadow for only a moment, but it's scary enough to make them drop the camera and run. Later, they retrieve the camera and upload it onto YouTube. If you listen closely, moments before they see the strange figure, you can hear his friend Ben saying he feels something piercing through him, something like its cold, lifeless stare. <laughs> A YouTube series called The Under Vlogs follows Rachel, Kiva, Tyler, and Derek on their various adventures. This time, they're split up on a competitive scavenger hunt, checklist and all, in a creepy 1908 children's hospital that's been abandoned since 1998. Tyler and Derek are goofing around, but things become tense when they notice a creepy clown head with dripping red eyes that could be a warning of what's about to come their way. They sense something wrong and run away, and that's when, approximately 
approximately 10 seconds later, the shadowy figure looks out at them, roughly the same height as the clown graffiti in the doorway, so I'm glad they followed their instincts and left fast. The adventurer, Abdullah Al Anbar, heads to the Devil's House of Evil Horror, an abandoned house somewhere in Saudi Arabia that's haunted by a poltergeist, or also known as a jinn. It doesn't take the explorer very long to discover how the house got its nickname. Whatever is in here is beyond creepy. Bismillah. Much to his surprise, every door opens at the same time. It's like he's being invited inside. We all saw the door slam by itself, but I bet you didn't see this elusive shadow person crouch out of sight when he first enters at 5 minutes and 10 seconds. His flashlight begins to flicker as paranormal energy gathers all around. He can sense something malevolent is near. <laughs> the door is slamming repeatedly by itself. No one is hiding on the other side. That's when the jinn tries to keep him here forever. Heavy footsteps follow him down the stairs as he bolts from the house of evil. I'd say the house lived up to its name that night based on his paranormal evidence. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by A Growing Lotus, filmed in the Inland Empire in Southern California, this redditor suspects these lights are a part of an unidentified flying object. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Are the, is there three of them? Mom, stars? Um, what the heck is? Keep recording it, cause that is weird. And the way they're moving, like up and down, airplanes don't do that. Airplanes don't move up and down like that. And it's that. not a drone either. Because what? The other one's kind of disappearing. There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Adventurous Ad 2736 wondered if they were paper lanterns, to which the uploader responded saying, They move too fast up and down, and I don't think paper lanterns can do that. And Faded Claws YT wrote, It's probably just those drones people use for light shows and stuff, to which the uploader responded saying, They didn't look like drones in person, but who knows? They were extremely bright. You can't tell in the video, unfortunately, and they disappeared eventually. So which side are you on here? Paper lanterns, drones, or a legit unidentified flying object? Let me know in the comments. I thought I was hallucinating at Matt. first. And now the other one's like already disappearing. Going I'm having like a really Matt. weird deja vu feeling. Just go away now. But the other Matt, one's kind of disappearing. Like <gasps> Did they just disappear? That's was this Chilean quake natural or extraterrestrial made? Published by Paranormal Planet in April of 2014, seconds before a tremor hit a coastal region of Chile, something was spotted in the sky. The short clip captures the Chilean coast. All is calm. As the cameraman scans the landscape, an unidentified aircraft shoots across the sky. A half-speed clip shows the object in more detail. 
It's tiny and black but has no other discernible features. It's simply moving too fast. After it passes, the earth immediately begins to shake. A girl hanging onto the fence sways back and forth and the cameraman appears to fall to the ground. Many in the comments don't think this was an unidentified flying object, and some don't even think it was a quake. Mary Coday suggests, It was a milli jet and it made a sonic boom or broke a sound barrier. Others think it was a bird. Is this real? Or is it all completely staged? We're left with more questions than answers with this one. When your home is occupied by shadow figures, it's probably time to move out. Redditor Bianca5150 set up a security camera to try and catch which one of her dogs was doing damage in her home. She received a notification, alerting her to movement, and when she checked the footage, she found this. Did you see the shadow figure? Most in the comments think she should get out now, and I tend to agree. If we're to believe that no one was really home, this is one of the best pieces of shadow figure footage that I've ever seen. Multiple instances of objects moving on their own has a YouTuber named Callum Tonner convinced that his Seattle house is haunted by a fearsome poltergeist. Lots of bizarre activity is frequently caught on camera, so I'm going to analyze the top 5 videos of best paranormal evidence. In the first weird video, he claims to find a coat hanger swinging back and forth in the closet. I will say that they could have pushed the object themselves before recording and then pretended it was a ghost. Normally I would say this video is fake, except this is far from the only scary event in which objects were caught on camera moving on their own and the other videos are much harder to explain. Later that night, with the haunted closet behind him and its doors open, a completely different object is caught moving on camera on its own. What was that? Even if you were moving a magnetic object under the table, I still don't think it would be strong enough to move the other objects through the heavy wooden desk. He creates the paranormal experiment again four nights later, and if you weren't able to tell what the two objects are, it's a flashlight moving across a phone that's turned on. And here's the thing, any magnetic force strong enough to move an object that large should also cause damage to the phone, which it doesn't. The phone is fine, and therefore I think a ghost is moving the flashlight. Four more nights later, the ghost has apparently taken to shuffling through his private card collection. An even more haunting paranormal activity is caught on camera without any explanation. If you were thinking that he bent the cards or something to make them fall over, but not what's happening, you can see more of the cards in this video. They look perfectly straight and evenly balanced, so tell me how these sturdy objects are caught on tape moving. Paranormal activity is all I can think for these super creepy and mysterious events, but I'm open to any other explanation. A statue jabs another statue with a trident in the middle of the night if this video is to be believed, which I have trouble doing, aside from looking like possible special effects because of the awkward way the statue moves. The way the camera mysteriously cuts out as soon as the trident makes contact is too much of a coincidence. This would be really creepy to see in real life but that'd be the only way I'd be convinced that this video is actually real. On occasion, don't believe what you see. Sometimes your eyes really can deceive you. TikToker Rebecca explains that a previous video that appeared to show a child at the window in this haunted mansion was actually just a prop. TikTokers urged Rebecca to call the authorities, saying it looked like this individual was being held captive. But when Rebecca zooms in on the window in question, the head is clearly that of a mannequin. Some still find the catch extremely jarring. Cat writes, You zoomed in and my heart just stopped. Some thank Rebecca for giving viewers closure, while others say it's even scarier knowing it's a mannequin. 
Real or not, whoever placed this thing here has a dark sense of humor. A devious Dora doll goes exploring this house in a freaky, paranormal way. The moving figurine is caught on camera doing some really weird things that probably weren't advertised on the back of the box. Creepy stuff like this. According to the uploader of this video, there were no batteries in this doll when Dora turns to face the camera like she's been caught. You must pay attention. But as one person pointed out, you can see the doll slowly turning its head for about 13 seconds before it snaps. The little girl is too busy singing to notice what's going on. Or maybe she's used to it happening by now. Then again, maybe there is somebody behind the door holding the doll in such a way that we can't see their hand. When two strangers pull up to your boat on the Nile, you have to assume the worst. This area is known for pirates. They cast a line and tie themselves to the ship in preparation to board. Oh dear lord. The one in white reaches down and then back turns, stands up while holding something. Alright guys, look for art. Does anyone see an RPG in there? He reaches back into his pocket and pulls out nothing but towels. As it turns out, this area is full of traveling salesmen too, even at sea. Still, I think they probably should have ran for help as soon as they thought these could be pirates, instead of recording in plain sight and making themselves an easy target. I saw a light anomaly, writes Francisco S. Camilla, after uploading this bizarre ring cam footage to his YouTube channel. He has no idea what this was and is looking for answers, so let's try and help. I think this could actually be paranormal because their dog just so happens to go crazy at the same time. The block is quiet and the dog doesn't really have much to bark at other than this strange moving object. Some dogs will bark at nothing so that's not necessarily proof. The way this alleged ghost orb slowly moves makes me wonder if this is actually just a bug that was attracted to the porch light walking across the lens up close to give this strange and spooky effect. A YouTuber named Savage Mister seems to be able to control the elements with his mind and this creepy video has some viewers losing theirs in return. Savage Mister waves to the sky, and in that moment a streak of sideways lightning appears to follow his command. Although it looks like he has superhuman powers, this was actually a total accident. Savage Mister is in the middle of a conversation with his brother, and he was talking with his hands when this once in a lifetime coincidence happened, and really shocked them both. Ghost Adventures of Cornwall is the name of a paranormal investigation channel in the UK who says that out of all of the haunted places they've ever explored, this abandoned house is one of the scariest and most active of all. Mark and Haley see a lot of creepy paranormal stuff and it's all caught on live stream. At 2 minutes and 34 seconds, they see something strange that they think is a ghost. A soft light passes across another room that Mark says was not his. The light looks like it could have been from his flashlight at first, until you zoom in and see that the ghost light actually originates on its own and does not match his camera movements at all. It's not Haley's light either, because as far as I can tell, she doesn't have one. Mark says that the ghost orb returns at 6 minutes and 48 seconds, and this time you can clearly see his camera is pointed straight at the window when this ghost light goes up the wall and disappears. Look at these curtains, man. Oh, something keeps touching me kindly. I think that something was touching him because his camera malfunctions at the same time he feels a ghost nearby. Then later a small blue ghost orb is in the window and it stays in the same spot even when he turns away. And when they set up a spirit box in this area to let the ghost communicate with radio airwaves, a female voice says hello. Tell me if you hear a ghost EVP say hello because I do. 
A sense of desperation lends a sharpness to her voice that makes me jump. A disembodied ghost voice sounds like she does not want to be condemned to haunting this abandoned house. The paranormal investigation must go on though, and so he is brave and keeps talking to the ghost, wanting to know more. It's a big mistake. Are you alone? Can you knock? Whoa! That's a Be careful, son. Time to play. That's weird. What? I said time to play, and that one. Who just said time to play? Whoa! You're playing games with me. Not. At this point, the paranormal investigation has definitely gone wrong, and judging from what the spirit box had to say, a supernatural presence has probably attached itself to them, either a demonic possession or a curse. An evil spirit can make themselves sound lost and confused to gain the trust of paranormal explorers, so maybe that's what happened here. The world's oceans hold both wonders and terrors. People got a glimpse of an example of such mysteries on November 11, 2007, 7,800 feet down the Gulf of Mexico. The Perdido oil drilling site sent a camera down for a routine inspection when it caught something unexpected. A bizarre creature swam only a few feet away from the rig, sporting unfathomable features. By far the most eye-catching of them were its long tentacles reaching far down below its body. It almost appears to be looking right at the camera, staring and observing just as being observed. Many commenters have likened it to an alien, with some even joking, it is an offspring of Cthulhu. The truth is, thankfully, more simple and far less scary. What was actually filmed is known as a big fin squid, a relatively newly discovered species. It was first documented in September 1988 off the coast of Brazil. Due to the depth at which it lives, sightings are rare, and there is still much about it left to be discovered. In fact, it is still unknown how these animals feed, but it is believed they use their long tentacles to drag against the seafloor to catch organisms to feed off. It is also believed they wait for small plankton to bump into them to eat. Such creatures make stories of sea monsters from folklore make much more sense. For centuries, the idea of the giant squid was a myth until it was proven as a real species, with larger, colossal squid also discovered. With an estimated 80% of the ocean left unexplored, there is bound to be thousands or millions more discoveries of all sorts of odd yet magnificent species out there. This unexplained shadow was uploaded by a paranormal ghost hunter named K. Owen. I think it could just be a fast-moving insect especially since this was recorded on a summer night in the south. But according to Kay, this is the spirit of a poltergeist in Kentucky who eventually went on to become quite destructive. If Kay's story is to be believed, then this unexplained shadow is the spirit of a person who took a woman's life in this camper years ago. The deranged paranormal entity would eventually go on to destroy the camper by burning it down just two weeks into the paranormal investigation. A YouTuber named Sunny Cooper has recorded a shadow moving back and forth that looks out of place. Maybe together we can figure out what this strange shadow belongs to. It starts out going one direction, then it comes back the other way. It almost looks like a rat or a small animal of some sort, but that still doesn't explain how it appears to instantly teleport across a large gap twice. I guess this could just be some sort of time-lapse editing, but something about the way the shadow moves looks like it was recorded in real time. Let me know if you have any explanation for what's happening here. Okay, so there's this tech channel from Singapore called Computer Guys, and one of their videos is beyond creepy. Weird things are continuously caught on tape in one of the most unlikely places to ever become haunted, a bare, nondescript server room. Oh. 
No one is seen on two different security cams and yet the door opens by itself. A ghost did it, they later say. I guess they were having technical problems shortly afterwards because IT workers come into the room to run some programs and check wires. No sooner do they leave, does the paranormal activity return. As the minutes pass, the laptop flips back open right before an IT worker walks in to check some things. Everything looks fine, nothing weird, and then things get scary in a paranormal way. A sighting of a ghost on the floor is caught on camera, which is then knocked over. Some paranormal investigators will tell you that electricity attracts the supernatural, so it makes sense that a ghost would haunt a high voltage server room if that were true. With that said, the whispering at the end does seem a little over the top to be real, and makes me wonder if this scary ghost sighting video is legitimate. Buckle your seatbelts. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, this video is apparently forbidden in most countries, and it's clear why. The footage shows two lit up objects in the sky. They're both moving slightly, with one of them moving a bit faster than the other and in different directions. The lights blink as the unidentified flying device on the bottom moves up towards the one above it. Suddenly they fuse and it sends a shockwave through the sky, like a bolt of lightning. What in the heck just happened here? The uploader stumbled across the freaky forbidden video in the summer of 2018. Some think it's most likely a clip from an indie movie. Redditor the lovely Raven 313 points out, if this actually happened, the media would be on it. Many agree with this sentiment. While some are willing to suspend their disbelief, when asked what it is, the Redditor admits he doesn't know. That's why I'm posting this to try and solve the mystery, he writes. Can you solve the mystery? I'm at a loss here. The Jinn is back. That's right, the shape-shifting creature of Arabic mythology that is said to have the capacity to possess humans is yet again making an appearance in this clip. Hassan Barbar believes he's caught one on camera. Posted in January of 2020 on YouTube, he writes in Arabic, I've never seen a jinn before. Outside of a stone building, the man captures something on film peering out at him from behind a palm tree. It pokes its head out briefly before drawing back into hiding. As he approaches the palm tree, you can hear movement coming from within it. He continues to wander around the premises until he starts to hear something swinging. Turning the camera towards the sound, he finds an old swing set. One swing flings back and forth, though no one is there to push it, nor does the night appear at all windy, as the trees remain unmoving. A short while later, when he is in front of the entryway to the building, a window pane slides closed. Again, it appears as though no one is there to close it. Do you believe in gin? This video has me creeped out to the Mac. A life ceremony in France starts out normal enough until 7 minutes and 11 seconds when an object moves on its own like a ghost is about to throw it. The object levitates until the clergyman puts his hands down, at which point it stops. This happened on live TV in front of thousands, so someone tell me how it could be fake. Stranger still, a man in the audience claims to have seen a supernatural apparition in the dark doorway, a ghostly figure with a white face and hair who watches the ceremony from afar. The full version of this video has never been put online, to my knowledge, but this picture apparently shows the figure. I think there is a good chance that it is Photoshop, but it looks creepy and is worth mentioning. So if anyone out there is good with Photoshop, then let me know if this is a real picture, or if this scary face was edited. Up a long forest mountain path is an abandoned house near the Chinese city of Chengdu that is said to be haunted. An explorer named the Sneezing Monkey travels to the fabled house to see if anything paranormal is there. 
There's not much left inside, but he does find an old book that he seems particularly interested in. At 2 minutes and 6 seconds, it almost looks like it gets slapped out of his hands by a possible ghost, but he could have dropped it too. Tell me what these pages say. For some reason, he seems to feel it's interesting enough to show the camera. Not much else happens, and just when I was doubting this house was haunted, I hear this. He's looking in some kind of fire pit or something and hears a noise. He looks up and hears it again coming from the attic. He doesn't stick around for long and wisely decides to leave. Real Victoria is woken up by her cat hissing at something. It sees in the bedroom window. The cat goes quiet when she starts recording, but it's definitely focused on some activity outside. She says this creepy looking character was looking in through her window, and he very well may have been, but at 4 seconds he also seems to be looking up and trying to get the attention of someone in the room above him. In fact, I think I hear him shout something and whistle loudly at the beginning of this video. What is he saying here? Eventually, he steps away and out of sight. I guess he either saw the camera, or he finally got the attention of someone in the unit above. Whatever he was up to, having a complete stranger anywhere near where you live at 5 in the morning is oddly terrifying. With that said, I do believe her, and I hope real Victoria stays safe until her lease is up and she can get out of there. This is purportedly the most haunted house in Guadalajara, Mexico. YouTuber Ricky Velasquez dares to enter, but he will soon regret it. As he tours the place, he spots this. Una noche loca. Las personas que estuvieron en esa transmisión. Perro, ¿qué es eso? No mames. Did you see that figure? As he continues throughout the home, it seems to be stalking him. Oye, oye, ¿quién eres? Dale, ir. Wherever he goes, it follows. Pues muéstrate, no seas cobarde. Muéstrate, muéstrate, muéstrate. Oh, la bestia, no mames. No, 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 tranquilo, tranquilo, tranquilo. tranquilo. Is someone there? Ricky keeps hearing noises, like someone is just out of sight. After hearing humming during a spirit box session, things get wild. No, 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 no. Whoa. No, 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 no. I think this home is definitely haunted, but by what? I'm not so sure. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.